Hi. Hello, Tatiana. How, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, super. I am ex very excited to have you today here. Let me introduce you guys, Rachel Palin, mm -hmm. the creator of Neural Language Coaching. Um, please tell us a little bit more about yourself. I know that you've been teaching English for 30 years and neuroscience is your speciality, right? Right, well actually now it's a little bit over 30 years, so it's uh, coming up to 35 years. Time passes by very quickly. And yes, you know, I'm passionate about the fact that, you know, when we're learning, it's now really essential to understand more about the brain and how the brain learns, functions, reacts. And I think that really has been one of my passions, not only for uh, discovering how to help other people, but also for myself. Uh, are you learning any languages currently? Honestly, Tatiana, I am trying to get into some Russian. My time at the moment is a little bit crazy, um, but every now and again I am trying to, to get in and uh, get my teeth into the language. I would love to, in the next years, be coming over to Russia a lot more. Um, and obviously, when I come to Russia, I need to practice it and speak with uh, people over there. So, so yes. Nice. Uh, I know that you've written a book, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what is it about and where can people buy it? Well, it's, it's literally called Neural Language Coaching and it is um, about combining coaching and neuroscience into the language learning process. Mm -hmm. That gives a little bit about the neuroscience first in very simple terms. I mean, I'm not a neuroscientist, but my passion is that, you know, as, as normal people, that we really start to understand ourselves much more. So it's in very simple terms and trying to understand, you know, the things that trigger us in a language, what blocks us, you know, with all my language learning, I know what it's like when, when we're suddenly blocked and we can't speak. I'm sure you know that too. So exploring, well, what is happening in the brain in those moments and also what could be the perfect learning state and other interesting things about this interplay of the conscious and the subconscious brain i just find it fascinating and then adding the coaching style and really understanding what is coaching what is language coaching and then what is neuro language coaching which is really different to even just normal language coaching is it more for teachers or for students well, it could actually be for both because it will give a lot of insights for people learning languages and obviously a lot of insights for language educators, teachers, trainers. Um, a lot of people have read the book and, and given me some amazing feedback. And what I'm finding as well, Tatiana, is that many, many teachers worldwide are starting to intuitively come into a lot of what I talk about in the book. And by the way, uh, you did ask me earlier, and apologies that I didn't mention it, the book is available on Amazon. So mm -hmm. it's uh, readily available for everybody worldwide. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm happy if people want to connect with me and contact with me, uh, you know, with comments or further needing further information, I'm happy for people to do that. Wonderful. In the description of the video, I will leave a link where you can buy the okay. book and how to contact uh, Rachel. And I will also state your um, website. Thank you. Um, so could you give us some tips uh, about brain friendly learning? Well, you know, the first question is how do I learn? So that's the first question for everybody. Because one thing that we really have to understand is that we're all different. And this one fit all approach doesn't work for everybody. So it's a self discovery. It's, it's really that questioning, well, what do I like? How do I learn? What makes it stick for me? And once somebody really discovers that then it's about practice practice doing doing and, and understanding that we have a, a, a way of learning which is the conscious way the explicit battling studying but also the implicit learning which is this passive listening absorbing and really combining those two 
will give a maximum to the learning process. Thank you very much. Um, any other tips? Well, you know, the one thing that I definitely train all my coaches is that when we are learning a new language, our brain is trying to associate with native language. So whatever language you are learning, it would be interesting to see what similarities there are with your native language. So for example, for me in Russian, I'm constantly trying to look for, you know, words that are maybe the same, like eta pasport, you know, so passport, passport is literally the same word. And I even discovered that your word for, one of your words for potatoes, I think it's like the German word, kartoffeln. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Auf Deutsch, das ist Kartoffel auch. Yeah, and it, it's really fascinating when you start to connect through languages. So I would say to people, play. Play with language, look for the associations, look for the similarities. And, and the, the, the more that we realize that languages are very, very similar, the faster that we will learn. Awesome. Thank you very much for the wonderful tips and for your time. Guys, if you've got any questions, leave a comment and Rachel will try to answer your questions. With pleasure. With pleasure. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for coming today and I hope we will talk to you soon also. Thank you so much, Tatiana. It's been wonderful to be with you. Thank you very much. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.